Glorilla and Boss Mandilo. Let's talk about it. Sephora stores are everywhere you are. So just pop in when you need a brown lip to match your 90s playlist. A confidence boost before your interview? Or a last-minute gift for mom's birthday? There's always a Sephora near you. Just pop in. Use our store locator to find your local Sephora or Sephora at Kohl's. How y'all doing? Welcome to Let's Talk About It Music Review Season 10. This is the back-to-back special, the two-episode two episodes a day marathon this is the fourth day and the audio might sound a little different right now because well um i'm in a fucking snowstorm right now i've taken shelter i'm in a good shelter zone right now you know so you might hear a little wind but i mostly got it blocked out right now look guys i'm in survival a1 right now but before you know i go try to you know figure out how i'm gonna get out of this snowstorm I've been, you know, having my Spotify on me. You know, Spotify has been helping me out recently because, hey, I gotta listen to these fucking songs. And, uh, Glorilla. Glorilla. That's what we're talking about today. Well, we've been talking about Glorilla for four years. And we're covering her new album. And we'll be doing an album review for Glorilla 2. Rod Wave 2, if you wanted to know. And somebody else that my Facebook audience will be happy about. But... For now, Glorilla. And we got a good feature too, because we got Boss Mandilo, the 2024 XXL freshman. And guys, hey, I'm so glad to see Boss Mandilo still killing it, still doing his thing. As you know, Boss Mandilo has a weird kind of rapping cadence. It's more kind of like talking to you, kind of. And uh, it's very entertaining, it's very funny. Not oh I mean not funny, not funny. It's kind of smooth. It, it's it's like a smooth kind of talking kind of rap type thing. And it's, he's got a really good voice for that, and he's got a really good flow that he does. It's a little different. It's a little you know whatever. But hey, look, we need more you know different stuff down here. You know we need more different stuff. You know and and as I'm in a snowstorm right now, one of the great things is listening to Boss Mandela while you're stranded. <laughs> <laughs> Save me, please. But today we're talking about Glorilla, Boss Mandilo, Step. Guys, let's get started. I got a couple of points I want to get off my chest. Starting off with number one while I'm dying in the snowstorm right now. Well, I guess I'm not dying. Honestly, you know, I feel my best shape for this because, as y'all know, I've been through this situation before. On my own show, I was stuck in a snowstorm, and I, you know, I survived just fine. So I'm going to do it again. You know, I can do it again. But my first point is I really enjoy this beat. This beat's really nice. You know, (laughs) honestly, this beat's fire. Because, look, of all my moments of covering rap for four, going on to four years now, (laughs) kind of crazy, four years of doing this shit, um... But as I've been covering rap, you know what I've not heard a lot production-wise? I've not heard a lot of, like, just just rapping off of a bass guitar loop. Like, I, I, ha- I haven't seen that. You know, I've listened to the piano trap beats, the choir sample beats, the guitar, the, the, the acoustic guitar beats. I've heard all of those. We've heard all of those. They're the most generic options you can pick. And this is actually, like, a fun this is like a fun option because guess what hey now you're listening to fucking uh, these two good rappers going crazy over this kind of smooth kind of bass guitar loop that's kind of looping as this beat's going and it's just overall really fire i think the production is really different it's really good i mean step has some really interesting production some really good production i love i love that bass guitar in this beat, kind of, you know, leading this beat, and when the bass guitar starts going crazy, Glorilla's going crazy, or Boss Mandilo's flowing on this beat, and overall, I just really enjoy this beat. Now, my second point is, you know, if you're on, if you're stranded right now, you're in shelter, you know, a snowstorm has affected your life, you know, you're thinking, you know, what what are you going to do right now? Well, 
I don't know. I, I really don't know. But I'm taking shelter. And my second point is this. I really, really enjoy... I really enjoy Glorilla's verse on here. I think, you know, Glorilla killed it. 100%. I think Glorilla killed it. Absolutely went crazy. And yeah, I really, really, really enjoy Glorilla's verse. I mean, it is absolutely fire. And my third point, Boss Mandilo. Boss Mandilo absolutely sounds fire on here. I mean, this man's cadence is really good. His cadence is pretty smooth. We got some good, we, we got a pretty good verse from Boss Mandilo. And I really enjoy that. And I'm glad that it's there. Now, let's go into, those are my points. Those are my points for, you know, the ADHD people. Now they can get out of here or whatever. Or you can put the phone down, you know, play a video game and keep listening. Because now we're about to really dive into the detail. We're about to dive into the detail of this review. And yeah, guys, let's get this started. If you're really enjoying this episode, make sure you follow. If you're on YouTube, Spotify, Pandora, wherever you get your podcast at. And uh, guys, let's get this started. Glorilla, Boss Mandilo, Step, let's talk about it. Starting off with the beat. The beat is fire. You know, she's kind of just rapping on a bass guitar loop. And honestly, it's really fire. I love the production here. It's different than the basic piano beat or something like that. You know, this beat is really awesome. This production is really awesome, really good. Glor Glorilla killed it on the verse. She had a pretty good flow. Even switched it up vocally, too, which I really enjoyed. I'm, I'm glad that rappers are always, you know, switching up vocally. I love how Glorilla is kind of playing around on this beat with the vocals, really switching it up, really adding some depth into this song because when you listen to this song and you listen to all these switch ups that happen i mean one of the best things that you can do is you know hey when you switch up a song you switch up your you know switch up your flow or you switch up vocally or you switch up on the vocals i mean guys <laughs> that is going to make me want to keep listening to the song it's going to make me want to keep coming back and keep coming back and keep coming back and keep listening to it. And I really enjoy that. And uh, yeah, overall, killed it with the verse. It's good. She killed it. The hook. Guys, hey, I'm going to say this too. The hook is also really fire. It's hard. It's banging. You know, it's going to blast your speakers out. It's going to boom them out. I mean, she is going absolutely crazy, kind of just jabbing jabbing and jabbing and jabbing with the flow on the beat it, it, it absolutely goes crazy in my gosh darn dang opinion i really enjoy the I, I really enjoy the flow here i think the flow of the hook is absolutely really good spectacular amazing lord mighty i really enjoy the i really enjoy the hook it's addictive it gets stuck in your head it's a fire hook now as you know Boss Mandilo. Boss Mandilo is kind of the final verse of this song. He's kind of the final verse of the song. And Boss Mandilo's verse was kind of crazy. I ain't gonna lie. His verse was kind of crazy. Kind of next level. Kind of off the charts. I, I can't even lie. <laughs> I, I can't even lie to y'all. You know, his verse was kind of crazy. I was kind of listening to it. I had to listen to it like three or four times. Because you know how I am. You know, I really got to get in depth with these songs. And when Boss Mandilo's verse, every time his fucking verse came on, I just kept going, what the hell? How is he flowing like this on this beat? <laughs> I mean, it is absolutely mind-blowing. It's absolutely crazy how he's just kind, of, just kind of flowing like crazy. I mean, it, it's off the walls. The flow is off the walls. And honestly, he killed it. His kind of, you know, talking flow really came together on this one. I really enjoyed the talking flow on here. It's smooth. You know, it's different. And I think this verse was actually really fire. Guys, overall, the production was good. The verses were good. The hook was good. Everything here was really good. And I really enjoyed this song. And honestly, guys, I'm going to give this song an 8 out of 10. 
overall, good song. 8 out of 10. What'd you think about it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? I don't know. Let me know. Thank you so much for listening. But don't go anywhere yet, guys. This is the back-to-back special. As you know, we're doing two episodes a day. And this is actually a double, double Glorilla Day. So go check out the next Glorilla Review. We're doing a T-Pain feature. And it's the last track off the album. And then, guys, album review later this week. So we got a lot of stuff coming out. But go check out the next episode. It's already up. Already there. It should be already there. And, yeah. I'll see you later. You have a good one. Bye.